If you didn't notice the nod to a martial arts film legend in the third season of The Umbrella Academy, we don't blame you. It's a really deep cut. Keep watching for this nod to movie history that could have been. Besides a killer soundtrack and time travel plot lines that bend fans' minds, one thing that The Umbrella Academy has always done right is its impressive fight scenes. The third season is no exception, as characters in this weird and wonderful series dirty up their knuckles, tentacles, or edges, always managing to look good while doing so. Yet, there's one character who has largely avoided throwing hands, which is impressive given that he's fully capable of walking on them. It's the Hargreaves trainer, guardian, and dapper ape Pogo. Aiden Gallagher's Five can attest to Pogo's history of scratching. You were a diaper-wearing chimp in dire need of a manicure. I don't know if you remember, but I have a scar to prove it." But the ape has largely stayed out of the team's various battles, opting instead to wow viewers simply with his presence. Besides looking mean as hell as a member of the Mothers of Agony, with a top knot and eyebrow piercings, the flashback to his departure from the Academy also sees him in pretty cool threads. In a decked-out dojo that sees Ben take on Jamie, our favorite ape at the Academy is seen looking stoic. Pogo's outfit, quite frankly, makes him look ten times cooler than he already is. It's an ensemble that also harkens back to one of the most iconic moments in the career of martial arts hero Bruce Lee, and was refitted for another popular movie before Pogo tried it on for size in his own stylish way. Few martial arts movie stars have ever looked as good or thrown fists as fast as a legendary Bruce Lee. Lee was largely responsible for bringing Hong Kong action to Western cinema. He tragically died in 1973, but left behind an incredible legacy with films like The Big Boss, his magnum opus Enter the Dragon, and the posthumous release Game of Death. The latter, released in 1978, debuted what is perhaps Lee's most iconic outfit, a yellow tracksuit with black stripes on the sides. That striking look has worked its way into movie history in more ways than one. In 2003, the same getup was given a loving homage in director Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill Vol. 1, when Uma Thurman wore a variation of it to play the sword-swinging bride. According to a Medium post, Lee's daughter Shannon Lee said her father saw this tracksuit as a statement he hoped would symbolize his philosophy for martial arts and life in general, she explained. My father chose the yellow and black tracksuit that he wore in Game of Death to represent his idea of the style of no style. He wanted to wear something that didn't signal that he was affiliated with any particular style. He was instead representing himself and his own style. Yes, Lee's eye-catching outfit was black on yellow, while Pogo's is reversed. But that's no mistake. If anything, it's an even deeper cut in Bruce Lee history. While that bright yellow tracksuit is synonymous with Lee, it turns out we could have seen him in an entirely different one that was more in line with what Pogo wears. According to Game of Death producer Andre Morgan, who spoke to the South China Morning Post in 2015, Lee had his steely-eyed glare on two outfits, the one we know and love, as well as another with the colors reversed. The final decision was settled thanks to a planned showdown involving Lee's last opponent in the film, played by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Abdul-Jabbar's character was meant to kick Lee's character in the chest, showing a visible footprint on his clothes. Lee settled on the yellow outfit because the evidence of the attack would be far more noticeable on yellow than black. While it's not a dead-on accurate nod to the martial arts hero, the iconography in the Umbrella Academy flashback can't help but conjure images of Lee in his classic movies, while still leaning into themes that the Umbrella Academy has established. This season focuses on choices and the fallout that comes from them, whether it's picking an alternate group of specially gifted children or a wardrobe choice. Pogo certainly made a great one here, but we'll stop. We don't want to embarrass him. That's enough! Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the Umbrella Academy are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.